Good morning, everybody. It is the third day of my 10-day fishing license here in San Francisco or California. We haven't caught anything yet, but we are actually just kind of scoping up, getting some information from local fishermen, have an idea where the uh, bait are hanging out and some fish have been caught. So yeah, stay tuned. What a beautiful area. They're redoing this uh, whole area here. It looks like they're gonna do a lookout point, but what a gorgeous view. Great neighborhood. It is gonna be awesome. Yeah. This is a beautiful spot. We're just gonna drop by here today and just gonna do a little bit of fishing for maybe 30 minutes, just check it out. Let's get all set up and get the line in the water. Very nice, very nice. So calm today. Look at this. Oh yeah. Kind of makes you smile, man, just looking at this. There's absolutely nobody here right now. All right, let's get set up. All right, here we go. All right, we're just gonna use the uh, Berkeley um, grub, the sandworms, and uh, just a high-low rig. Just have it in this uh, foam kind of tubing. That way, he doesn't get all tangled. Just like that, take it out. The weight, I got, what is this, two and a half ounces. And uh, basically high-low rig right here. Pretty simple setup right there. All right, let's put this on and get it out there. All right, here we go, first cast. It's really flat out here. The waves are not like super, super big or anything. Wow. That is incredible. All right, I'm gonna try this little uh, Paddle tail. I think this is uh, pretty good, I think. I, I've never caught one on this yet, but I've seen some guys swear by, by this little paddle tail for perch. There you go. Maybe the big perch will, will get that. And then we'll, we'll use a Berkeley sandworm. We'll do a Berkeley sandworm on the top. Just gotta throw it right through the middle. Let's grab one of these puppies right here. There you go, close it up. All right, put the Berkeley sandworm on the top. Usually this is pretty popular. Usually this work, works really well. Right through the middle. Oh yeah, just like that, beautiful. Let's thread it. I'm gonna have the tip go right onto the line a little bit. And there's barbs on this shank, so it helps with keeping this sand warm on the hook and look at that that's a setup right there and there and look at those people swimming man those guys are not cold check that out right in the spot where I'm gonna cast but all right let's get this out there let's clean this up put this in the bag and then um, start fishing all right guys here we go let's get started Simple high-low rig right there. And again, look at that. How, how could you not enjoy yourself in this with this view? 
All right. Hopefully, we can get a cast out there and get some hits. All right, here we go. We'll just leave it out there. Let's see where the, uh, if we can get any hits or something. No perch around. Don't feel anything. All right, just switch to one side. I think I'm, I got fish on. It's, that's pretty awesome. All right, let's see. Yeah. I think, uh, wow, I, that was instant. Oh yeah, oh, oh, this might be a good size one. Wow. Let's see if we can land it. Wow. It's fighting a pretty good fight. Oh my goodness, it's a smelt. Oh, look at that. Dang. The purple grub, instant. God, these guys are voracious. All right, hold on, we'll get you off, we'll get you off. Wow, this guy was, wow, look at that. That's a smelt right here. Oh, there he goes. All right, buddy. This make excellent bait, that's for sure. Oh, shoot. There goes Dang. That was fun. Oh, it's over there. All right, buddy. Wrong way. There you go. There he goes. It's right there. Oh, those seagulls. Those seagulls are looking for it. Oh, it's made its way. All right. That was solid. Wash the hands real quick, yeah. All right. That was instant, dang. Smelt. There we go, over there. Casting about in that same spot. It hit it quick too. That was nice. That was crazy. Well, that's the first fish on this 10 day license. That was pretty fun though. Thought it was a perch, but actually that smelt took that. We got lucky there, that was fun. Gotta wait. I love all those people um, swimming. What a gorgeous day. Yeah, water in San Francisco is on the average around 54 degrees or something like that. 57 between that, 54 to 57 degrees. You wouldn't catch me swimming in this one. When I was younger, I used to swim out here. And um, yeah, I, you swim until your body gets numb and then you're good. <laughs> well, more power to those people that can do it though, for sure. I appreciate that. One nineteen, one twenty, roughly about one hundred twenty steps, guys. One hundred twenty steps to the shoreline. 
I'm a little bit out of breath. All right, if you're just curious. <laughs> All right, those birds have actually settled down right in front of me, right in front of, uh, right in front of uh, the hang gliders, Nike base, and uh, there are a lot of bait in this area. Sometimes the stripers like to uh, push those bait closer to shore um, for easy pickings. All right, guys, I've been watching these uh, flock of birds for the last 20 minutes. They've gotten a lot closer to uh, the shore. They keep on moving. They've moved pretty fast. But they're sitting right on top of this bait. And I think some of the fish may be just pushing. Uh... Wow, that's, that's really close. They're pushing. Something's pushing that bait like, closer to shore. I want to see some some fish bust at the on the top that's what i'm looking for before i go down but you know this is a promising area because you know there's bait present all those birds are just sitting on top of that water just waiting for something to push that bait up you know the comrades are are diving that's for sure Keeping an eye out for anything that's gonna break the surface. There's a couple of fishermen down there, but they're just bait fishermen. And that guy's like looking for worms. All right. Yeah, man. Uh, I've I've seen them, you know, super far away. Now they're a lot closer. And I. And I and I know the tide is coming in, so I think these uh, these birds are are going to be uh, starting to come in a little closer to shore too. Ah, oh, this looks really promising. Now they're all sitting on top of the water right now, just waiting. They're all just waiting. Some of them are diving. Those cormorants are diving. There's a um, there must be a small pod of. Uh, stripers but they're moving quick you know they, they can move 50 yards here 50 yards to the right 50 yards but they apparently have they have definitely come a little closer and there are more birds coming there's just to the coming from the right there's some more birds coming to settle right in front of us yeah there you go they're getting landing they'll be sitting Guys, this is kind of fun. This is nature, being out here, out in the outdoors. This is, it's pretty fun, man. This is cool. Something that um, I grew up doing when I was uh, in my teens, just learning how to drive, and then, and then um, going along the coastline in the summertime. And it is the summertime here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah, they're right in front of us. They're like in the, I don't know. They're probably. Actually, casting distance really now. Wow, they are close. That is good. That's probably about 200 yards off the shore. Wow. Okay. Really good. All right, guys. We got some birds working just off to the right. And... Um, yeah, they were out there further. We'll see. There's got to be fish pushing those. Uh... Yeah, they're going to be, they're moving to just to the left of me. Oh, yeah. They're moving. The bait's moving. Just got to look for, just got to get lucky. Pretty exciting, brings back uh, good memories. Long time ago, in the 80s, 
Oh yeah. You can tell those uh, s seagulls, you know, when the pelicans dive, as I was uh, telling you in previous videos, pelicans dive, seagulls go right after them because they get injured. You know, the anchovies get injured and then uh, they pick them off on the surface. I don't know what I got here, but seaweed or something. Oh, what a time to get a seaweed or something. There it goes. They're just moving right in front of me. Oh, a nice retrieve. Nice action. Hopefully uh, there's some fish pushing that up. You know, when you haven't seen this in a long time, not like a bunch of these uh, local fishermen around me, they're like, ah, oh, yeah, I've seen that before. That's nothing. But for me, I'm excited. I got a lot of adrenaline, you know. A lot of adrenaline in me um, right now flowing. I want to see some fish bust, man. There must be a, like a sandbar right in front of me because Jesus gets hung up. I was perch fishing, but these birds came in, so yeah. Give it a chance, give it a chance. Oh, that's exciting. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. I don't think uh, I see anything break the surface. Never know, never know. Just keep on plugging away. Hey, didn't get skunk. Got a sand crab. Or not a sand crab. Hermit crab. He's good, he's good. All right, go back. I think I hooked up, guys. Striped bass. Oh yeah. It hit it on the Mickey. Oh, please don't come off. Please don't come off. Here he goes. Striper. Striper, baby. Striper, 
Looks like a keeper got it, baby. Oh yeah. Oh heck yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Right on. I think we got a keeper. Let's pull it over here. All right, guys, let me just measure my striper. Tipped, uh, let's see, it is 26 inches. Right there, 26 inches to the tip. Right there, to the nose. All right, pretty good, 26 incher. All right, very happy. All right, 26 inches. I'm very ecstatic, very happy. So blessed to be able to um, experience this again, visiting from Oregon. All right, guys, I saw the birds working, so I went towards it and just kind of, um, you know, I was trying to figure out what the other guys on the shoreline were doing because they're fishing for perch and they were catching some perch on um, some grubs. And I don't know if I was doing something wrong or if there's a new way to uh, fish for stripers, but I just did it the old way that I know how uh, from a long time ago and uh, I was very fortunate to, to hook up. And uh, here's my fish right now. It's about, I don't know, five pounds maybe I'd say, you know, and maybe 28 inches or something like that. It's not a huge fish, but off the surf, I mean, I've, I've gone to Half Moon Bay to search for striped bass and uh, Today's like the third day. I've been like working the pavement, that's for sure. And um, finally got one on my, this is the fourth day of my 10 day license. I think uh, my knowledge of trying to find where the bait was and all the legwork that was put into place uh, paid off. I didn't think I was really gonna catch one, but that's just a bonus. Um, you know, the birds were working behind me as you can see, there's a few birds behind me. And um, yeah, they were uh, coming in and out. There's gotta be, you know, stripers in there. But man, that was, that felt good. When I cast it out there, <laughs> bam, oh, that was such a great feeling. I think I haven't caught one in the surf since I moved to Portland. And uh, oh, I, look at the grin on this face. Am I happy or not? <laughs> Oh, I think the last time I caught a strap bass was probably in 90, maybe 89, 88. So yeah, it's still the same area where we go fishing for striped bass during the summertime. They start in the bay and then they make their way out, out of the bay to, to feed on bait out in the ocean. And then they go back like September, October into the bay. All right, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. That was pretty fun. We got a smelt this morning, but we got a bonus striped bass. All right. All right, hey, thanks for joining me in this episode. And um, I'm going to continue fishing my 10-day license, and uh, we'll see what we get next. All right, thanks for tuning in. If you like the content, guys, please consider subscribing. I appreciate your comments. And uh, we'll see you on a future video. All right, service on to others is the rent you pay here on earth. I am back home and I uh, just wanna show you my fish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, cut it up. And I'm, I'm thinking that there's gonna be anchovies in the stomach, but we'll, we'll um, scale it and um, see what's in the stomach. Just kinda curious. All right, let's clean this fish. Just caught this about an hour ago. I left right away. Um, you know, you want to take care of your fish. I bled it. Um, I didn't have a kill bag. So, yeah, you got to watch out for the spines over here. Right here. Look at that. Man, you don't want to get poked right here. Woo! That's sharp. That is pretty. All right, let's cut it up. Woo, this, remember this fish, man. Lots of scales on this one.
Add some scales. It's good to have a nice scaler. That striped bass. I love it when I catch it in the surf because it's, you know, I feel like it cleans itself from being in the bay. So these guys go back inside the delta, probably around September, something like that. And then, uh, you know, some of them, I don't know when they actually spawn, but I bet you this is probably a couple years old, maybe three years old. I don't know, does anybody know um, in terms of how old striped bass get, you know, uh, in size? Anybody want to comment on that? This is 26 inches. And uh, I'm guessing it's about maybe five, six pounds or something like that. I know people were saying that they like this in ceviche but I think you have to freeze the fish right you have to kill the parasites and so forth at least seven days that's what I know from salmon stuff that is not farm raised I'm definitely gonna freeze it kill all the parasites for seven days at least that's uh, recommended by the uh, FDA All right, that's scaled. Let's rinse it up. It's a beautiful fish. Super fresh. And look at the stripes on this puppy. Super, super clean fish. That's a cromer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, about 10 stripes on this one. All right, let's cut it up. Let's cut it up. See what's inside. All right, let's open this up. Let's see what's, what this guy's been eating. Let's, let's angle it. Let's angle it. Here we go. All right. Oh, <laughs> that's why we follow the, we follow the birds. That's what it's been gorging on. Look at that. Oh yeah, here's the uh, esophagus right here, the stomach. Let's see, cut it. See what this guy's been eating. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see what's in the stomach. Oh, anchovy. Anchovy. That's how many anchovies. So they go out of the water. I mean, they go out of the delta to get fat and eat all the bait. Oh, yeah, look at this, guys. That's why those birds were. Look how many there are. Let's see. All those anchovies, check that out. What else has he been eating? That was a fat one. I don't know what that is. That's a big anchovy. I don't know, That's a that looks like a smelt maybe. Yeah, cause it's uh, considerably bigger than all the others. So that's what's in the stomach, look at all that. 